Welcome to CalFrac Well Services. Headquartered in Calgary, Canada, CalFrac was started in 1999 by a team of four dynamic individuals who wanted to put the word service back in the oil field business. Today, CalFrac is over 4,600 people strong and operates in six countries. Canada, the United States, Argentina, Colombia, Mexico, and Russia. Our three main service lines include hydraulic fracturing, coiled tubing, and cementing. During our first year of operations, CalFrac began working with the city of Medicine Hat, Alberta. CalFrac still maintains a strong relationship with the city, which is still a client to this day. In September of 1999, CalFrac successfully completed its first hydraulic fracturing treatment. In February of 2002, CalFrac opened a field office in Platteville, Colorado, the company's first significant presence in the United States. This move positioned CalFrac to provide fracturing services to customers in Colorado, New Mexico, and Wyoming. In 2005, CalFrac signed two contracts in Russia to provide coil tubing services. With a landmass 1.5 times greater than Canada or the US, Russia represents the largest country in the world with vast deposits of oil and gas resources. In 2006, CalFrac performed its first multi-stage hydraulic fracturing treatment of a horizontal well a significant milestone in positioning the company as a leader in unconventional plays. In July of 2007, CalFrac entered the Latin American market with a three-year fracturing contract in Mexico with Pemex. In the spring of 2008, CalFrac established a district operating base in Catriel, Argentina. In 2011, CalFrac entered the Columbia pressure pumping market using its proven international expansion formula with the goal of increasing future activities in measured increments. In December of 2013, Doug Ramsey announced his retirement as CEO of CalFrac, effective at the end of 2013. As Doug took on the position of Vice Chairman of the Board in 2014, Fernando Aguilar was appointed CalFrac's President and Chief Executive Officer. At CalFrac, our vision is to be one of the top five pressure pumping companies in the world, and we have a strategic plan that will get us there. Our guiding principles, or the manner in which we want our employees to conduct themselves and make business decisions, focus on service, safety, technical capability, financial responsibility, and of course, our people. To continue to deliver superior service, it is critical for you to understand our business. A vast majority of our employees work in the field to provide hydraulic fracturing, cementing, and coiled tubing services. Let's take a look at our field operations through the eyes of these employees. Most days typically start very early. Sometimes we'd be in a yard about four o'clock in the morning, you know, getting ready to leave out to go to locations. Each crew member relies on other members of the team to ensure material and equipment required for the job is checked and job ready prior to leaving the yard. All trucks then pull up to a predetermined point for a convoy style departure to the job site. Any job function we do will always be preceded by a job safety meeting. Uh, so before we leave the yard with the vehicles, uh, we will have a safety meeting discussing very specific instructions to make sure everybody understands the route that we're taking uh, before we even leave. CalFrac's commitment to safety is reflected in each part of our business. We believe that all employees have a duty to protect not only their own health and safety, but the health and safety of those around us each and every day. Once the convoy has arrived at the job site, the supervisor will walk the location and identify any potential hazards. This is referred to as the JSA, or Job Safety Assessment. After this safety step is complete and findings are communicated to the crew, the supervisor will begin spotting equipment on the job site. Once the equipment has been spotted on the job site, the rig-in process begins. During the rig-in meeting, CalFrac's crew discusses any potential hazards on the job site and each of the operator's responsibilities. The rig-in process consists of many specific jobs and each one is vital to performing quality service. 
So the rig up process, once all the trucks are spotted and ready to go, the rig up process will be the step-by-steps that we will use to take all of these different pieces of equipment that we've just spotted on location to connect them all together to work together as one big unit. Many of our operations continue over a 24-hour period. This is accomplished by rotating crews every 12 hours. Some locations are too far from the district for employees to return home at night. In these instances, crews stay at hotels. Safety meetings and pressure testing take place throughout the job. This keeps the focus on safety and job quality. Once the last stage is completed, a safety meeting will be held prior to rigging out. The oil field ain't for everybody. I always look at it like the oil field gets the best and the worst of people, and Calfrac seems to be able to attract the best of that genre of people that work. I mean, because you get some of these little mom and pop companies that they'll hire anybody without a drug test and all that, and you get, you know, those are not the companies you want to go to work for. A company like Calfrac, you know, you, you really can't get hired if you're a person like that. So you, you come out here and you have the guys that are willing to work, willing to make the money, and then you put them all in one crew. You know, it, I, I like that. Safety is at the heart of Calfrac's business. It is part of our mission statement and our guiding principles. Looking out for yourself and your crew members ensures everyone goes home safely. There's a lot of camaraderie throughout the, uh, throughout the different crews and everybody's always there to help. It's everybody's there to watch your back. Hey, don't do it this way. Do it this way. It's safer. It's easier. You're not going to hurt anybody. Calfrac's three main service lines of hydraulic fracturing, cementing, and coil tubing are often used together or separately, depending on the customer needs. The objective of hydraulic fracturing is to increase the conductivity of an oil or natural gas zone within a reservoir. This is done by creating a conductive pathway from the well bore with a combination of fluid and propant. To ensure we do not hurt the physical environment, proper cementing is integral to this entire process. Coil tubing units are another fragment used in well intervention. These units are often used together with support equipment to pump nitrogen or acid into wells in order to remove solids and fluids from the well bore. In addition to hydraulic fracturing services, Calfrac provides cementing, coil tubing, and acidizing services. Calfrac provides primary, remedial, and specialty cementing services. The purpose of primary cementing is to provide isolation between the open hole and casing, thus preventing fluid movement between formations and supporting the casing. After drilling to the desired depth, a steel pipe known as casing is lowered into the well. Cement slurry is pumped down the casing and displaced up into the annulus between the casing and the open hole. Cement also protects the casing from corrosion. Calfrac cementing operations are backed by personnel and lab facilities completely devoted to quality control, testing and research and development in cement. Working to API specs, this part of the lab provides the technological base for slurry preparations to address thickening times, viscosities for pumping rates, fluid loss, free water, compressive strengths and cement densities all of which need to be finally calculated in order to achieve success in cementing operations in the field. Coiled tubing is continuous steel pipe that is spooled on a reel. Calfrac's operation includes both intermediate coiled tubing units that service shallow to medium depth wells and deep coil units that service more extreme depths. Coil tubing is used to place and circulate fluids at a specific well depth or remove obstructions in the well bore. The equipment used incorporates the latest and advanced technology, operating control techniques, and real-time data acquisition, all of which enables the company to perform well treatments with precision. Successful operations depend on the quality of the people running the equipment. Calfrax people have proved their ability to deliver success. As you can see, our operations are extremely complex and labor-intensive. By investing in only the best office and field personnel and committing to continuously providing support and developing skills, we provide our customers with exceptional service and technology. 
In order to stay close to our vision, to become one of the top five pressure companies in the world, we need to focus on our guiding principles, which are service orientation. To develop and maintain strong client relationships at all levels and work collaboratively with clients to identify opportunities and solutions. Technical strength to develop and invest in technologies where opportunities exist and acquire rights to technologies where opportunity is limited. People focus to hire and develop employees who share our cultural values and invest in people at all levels to help them achieve their full potential. Safety and quality driven to be an industry leader in service quality and operational improvement and never compromise employee safety or environmental stewardship. Financial responsibility to focus on making good business decisions that create shareholder value and maintain a strong financial position that can be leveraged to meet strategic objectives. We're confident that the skills and drive you bring to our team, backed by CalFRAC's guiding principles, will continue to lead us on a path of successful growth from which we can all benefit and thrive. Welcome to CalFRAC.